I appreciate the taking the time to learn a little bit more about employer support, the Garden Reserve, and the great men and women that are supporting this volunteer program, which is directly supporting the Garden Reserve members throughout our country and the employers that support those Garden Reserve members while they perform the service. ESDR has been around for 50 years, and we appreciate the fact that we have these extraordinary volunteers that have given up their personal time and treasure to assist and help everyone serving in uniform in the Guard and Reserve and their employers so that the service can lift the burden off the backs of both the employer and the Guard and Reservists. It's a very exciting mission and something that has been established since we became an all-volunteer force. And with us today is a very special person who has given decades of service in non-volunteer roles, not only with the Employer Support Guard and Reserve, but she's particularly special because her and her husband have dedicated their lives in nonprofit efforts ever, ever since their retirement. And so it, it gives me tremendous pleasure to introduce to you Liz Deeds, an Employer Support the Guard Reserve volunteer. Hello, Liz. Thanks for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for being here. Yes, it's really been an exciting uh, adventure with, with ESGR. I've learned so much about all of the military services that I did not know before. And it truly is exciting. I think one of the, the nicest things that we find is that Larry and I can do this together. Um, and it, 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 it increases our, our love of, of what we're doing and increases what we're able to do and how we're able to do it. And well, today, you know, oh, I the, think it's, well, that is a really special dimension. And we do find that the husband and wife teams really can step it up even more because they're mutually supporting each other's endeavor there. And we, we are fortunate here in California Committee of the Employer Support Guard and Reserve to have several husband and wife teams that are making a big, big difference in the well-being of those that serve. Liz, could you give me a little bit more about how long you've been serving? With ESGR, it's only about six or seven years. Um, but, but with Larry and I, we've been in, in Red Cross, of course, before that. Um, and it's been a very quick, quick learn because you have to do all the things that we're trying to do. Um, but thank goodness, there are so many seasoned ESGR volunteers who will help you um, from all this technology stuff to uh, how to do certain presentations, how to do, uh, how to participate in all the boss lifts, all of the things that we do. Um, it, it comes after you've been taught about it and educated. And that's really a very, very a big part. And the people in the California ESGR reach out to one another, which makes it even better. Well, I would agree, Liz. They're definitely a family of volunteers. You know, uh, given the long years of service, both with the Red Cross and the Employer Support Guard Reserve, uh, what, what keeps you motivated? Why, why do you stay with it? Why do I stay with it? Because I, first of all, I don't want to play golf. I don't play mahjong and I don't break bridge and neither does Larry. And we want to be doing something for the community. And, we, and the military is, is very special to both of us. Larry retired, I did not, um, but it, it's so special to us. And these, these people, kids coming into the military now really need the assistance. And the, the, the employers sometimes don't understand but I've also discovered that sometimes the young military do not understand. Even some of the older military do not understand. And guess what? The rules change all the time. So it, it's really part of our lives. Well, you know, uh, Liz brings up a great point about providing a special kind of support. Now, we, we can sometimes uh, not understand the special challenges that are faced with an employer that has to let a Guard or Reserve member leave for a, up to a year's time and then come back in. That transition out and transition in requires a lot of special skills, of which both Liz and Larry have demonstrated throughout the years. Uh, to that end, Liz, can you tell us a little bit about the specific duties that you perform as a volunteer? Um, I started out as a plain volunteer, and then quickly Larry became an Area 2 chair, and then he expanded to the uh, Army lead for that and working with, it, with the other gentlemen. Um, and I just caught on the ball. And, and, you know, once you learn the system and once we talk about it in the house, it's certainly much easier just to go right along with it. So that's why we do that. One of the great things for us in the California committee is, uh, is Liz and Larry both willing to take on leadership roles. 
And uh, in that capacity, they've done a variety of different tasks, like presenting Patriot Awards to, to uh, employers of the Guard Reserve. They're particularly supportive. Uh, they have been directly involved in uh, advising and educating our employers and our troops on their rights and responsibilities. And they've done a whole variety of specialized programs like BOSLAs. And thinking of all those various task lists, can you tell us which ones stand out over the, la over the several years that, that were particularly special for you? We, we love, the, we love the, the briefings with the military, but I have to tell you, the big boss lift where we flew from 129th Air National Guard on a C-130 from uh, Moffett Field and went down to uh, Hunter Liggett and then got on in a helicopter, went all over and saw, saw all of the people functioning it. What also impressed me was to see the women who are now leaders of all of these particular units and hospitals and things. That was fabulous. Um, that, that's, that's great to see. Um, somehow the military people, the, the members seem to be getting younger and I guess I get them older. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, Liz brings up a great point. We have a very diversified group. The, our volunteers come from employers. They come from nonprofit, from uh, 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 charity organizations. Uh, so, you know, the retired military, there's a wide variety of different individuals that are attracted to this. And when they come on board, one of the unique features is that this whole idea that we're a family, and that we're mutually supporting. And through that, we're better able to support those clients that we have. Our, again, our two primary clients were the Guard Reserve and these employers. Liz, can you uh, give us an example of where a volunteer has worked with you and you were particularly uh, happy with that association? Um, I, every time that we're getting ready to do some particular assignment or uh, have a meeting or do something else, it's really great to see people, um, a couple of people in Area 2, but also because we are so physically close to Area 1, and I just love the people down in, in the Fresno. It's just really wonderful to work together. Um, we've helped each other. Um, we had that APAM or a meeting, I can't remember, in Fresno. Um, and meeting some of the individuals that I never knew before, but just working together was just phenomenal. Um, also, the planning for the, for the boss lift was phenomenal in that it, we had to work many different times and certainly because of this whole virtual world that we're in, um, a lot of the phone calls, uh, all of the phone calls were, on, were virtual until we actually were able to do the boss lift. And, and so that was very, very exciting. Well, Liz, uh, I, I could say without question that you made a major contribution to the well-being of a lot of individuals. In both your role in the Red Cross and obviously here with the Employer Support the Guard and Reserve, I have been personally inspired by your contributions and dedication. And I can say without question, anybody that's watching this, if you want to know what a consummate volunteer looks like, you've just met her. Uh, Liz Deeds, <laughs> I want to salute your service. I want to salute all that you've contributed. And I look forward to many more years of working with you in the Employer Support the Guard Reserve Committee right here in California. Jim, I thank you very much. It's, it's truly been a, an awakening for me and for Larry. And the fact that we can do it together, it just adds to the joy. And you never know, you know, we're planning these activities and all of the other kinds of things. It's just a very exciting thing to be able to give back and to, to help the Guard and the Reserve because they are being called upon so often to do things that they weren't supposed to be doing originally. Well, thank you, Liz. I want to just leave you with a happy 50 year anniversary. And uh, again, many more years together. Take care. Thank you very much, Jim. You have a great week.